Yo, so peep this, right? Um, right now, this guy right here, you looking at this dark skin guy sitting next to DJ Academics. His name is Little Boom. Um, Adam22 discovered that this guy is a damn pervert and a pedophile, and this is DJ Academics' homie. If you guys ever been on DJ Academics' stream, and he called them guys to chat, to chat or whatever, he's always saying, hey, boom, little boom, 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 boom. This is boom right here. Boom is charged with touching minus. Hey, I was in the sack, I was in the sack, I was in the back of the truck. Hey, niggas was hanging, I had that lick, and I had to run some racks. Hey, take that shit. Uh, so, so, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I told you, he ready. That's a real homie. Holy. He snapped, though. He snapped. I couldn't keep up. I couldn't keep up. He be rapping over anything. I've seen him, like, just like, I'm like. Chat, give me a beat. My rapper Taylor Swift beat, bro. Oh God. Give me a beat. What's a good beat? Bro, um, 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 I could not catch that shit. Oh God. No, that's why I stopped you. I some w man. I want to do the part, like the ninth top beat type shit. Oh, ooh. Or uh, do do uh, do uh, uh, what champion champion? Ooh. Pop, do Poppy's home. Nah, it's slow though. Yeah, but uh, so? I feel like anything. Where does do fair trade? What is this? Love. Wait, dude, do not disturb. That's my favorite instrumental. It's hard. Oh, that Love. Boom. 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 Hey, no disrespect to anybody that been disrespected or touched, but this guy need to be taken off the streets immediately. Once you guys hear about the horrendous crimes that he's been um, charged with, you guys will understand. We don't understand. We don't have, like, number one is, how is DJ Academic standing next to him? But it kind of makes sense because when you start to look at things, there's a female, a young lady, a beautiful black queen who said that academics and his friends actually sexually assaulted her. But let's get to this guy right here. His name is Little Boom. He's one of academics best friends. And if not, just go to academic streams and check it out. He's going to say his name every damn day. Pervert. Get him out of here. He's a disgrace to the black community. Hey, boom. Hey, boom. Hey, boom. Hey, boom. Okay. Check. Hold on. I'm waiting for the beat drop. Okay. I'm not stopped. Fuck I'm all that. We don't want to hear the beat drop fucking. So Adam 22 and DJ Academics been going back and forth, but I, I guess we know why. So our good buddy, the white blood from Florida, 1090 Jakes, I believe he got a little information for us and I would like to share it with you guys. And if you guys ever see this guy, please grab your children immediately, please. And you know what they say, um, perverts hang around perverts. We cannot tolerate this in hip hop, nowhere in, in our community at all, none whatsoever. Man, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, no rocking with y'all. And then we got the good white man, 1090 Jake, exposing this freak perv. Named Little Boom, aka Academics, homie. We're gonna call it how it is. Academics cannot get the fucking pass because all this nigga do is sit up there and talk about everybody else's business. Meanwhile, the main nigga in this chat is touching minors. Here go the proof right here. Y'all rocking with me? And for this video, we're gonna be speaking on Adam Twenty Two, exposing the first rapper of two thousand and twenty-four. Less than two weeks into the new year, and Adam22 is starting off with a boom, literally. Adam would share a Facebook post to his Instagram story by the Ocala Police Department. The post would read, update. Thanks to our Facebook followers, this person was identified. His name is Shannon Jawan Adams, 23. He also goes by Lil Boom. Original 1090 Jake being nice and he's he's spam academics because he be in the chat and in the Discord with him. But I give him the blood clot fucks, academics. You move with Bati Boy them. They got suspect pictures of you laying at the sitting at the fucking um chat at the at the laptop in your fucking in your your own girlfriend exposed pictures of it is not even allegedly academics said it. So your own girlfriend took pictures of you sitting butt naked at a computer. 
Ask um no jumping them for the pictures. Why don't you just expose the pictures? Well, what type of grown man is going to sit butt naked at a computer? Oh, I know what. Somebody that hangs with guys like this. We cannot Clearly tolerate the post this. Read, can you identify? We need your help identifying this person of interest. He was seen walking around inside the Walmart located on Easy Street. Inside Walmart, he inappropriately touched the backside of multiple people, including children. Adam would savagely at Lil Boom, asking how is this real while laughing his ass off. The next day, a post to No Jumper's Instagram would get Lil Boom's attention after not only posting close-up surveillance pictures, but Facebook comments left on the police department's page of a woman claiming her and her daughter were also followed around the same store. Lil Boom would comment, this is so cap, if this was true, I'd be on a fucking registry. But as we all remember, designer got caught choking the chicken on a plane, and part of his plea is he wouldn't have to register. Now Lil Boom was arrested only three days after the Facebook post was made, and his arrest report would reveal some disturbing details. On September 19th, 2000. So, in other words, designer. Yeah, finna, I got a lawsuit on this. Hold on. Um, it's like five people: a Smashy, Gremlin. So I don't know if you guys remember when designer, um, he got caught masturbating on, I believe Delta or American Airlines. Um, but this is not about him right now. This is about DJ Academics friend, Little Boom. But um, you see what they said, he was touching minors, right? Who? So in other words, he was going on the booty slapping binge in Walmart. And them dude do look like, number one, DJ Academics girlfriend, right? She's saying that um, she exposed pictures of the nigga sitting butt naked at the computer. Now, who the fuck sits butt naked at a damn laptop? Oh, I know what. A pervert. Behind the younger female, preventing him from taking any more pictures. According to the arrest report, it states it should be noted the female was wearing jeans and therefore boom would enter the walmart before making his way to the produce section and at this time the two underage females were in the same section selecting items boom can be seen approaching the 10 year old from behind and touching her butt to which she jumped away from him the two girls would walk towards their mother as the suspect proceeds closer to them that's when he approached the 17 year old touching her butt six minutes later Boom could be observed on camera approaching a third female where he attempts to touch her butt, but she doesn't react. The female then takes a look, the, the nigga look like a fucking damn pervert. This is totally disgusting. So these is the chat nigga, y'all. So all you niggas that don't know who faces are, hey, where's little boom? Get little boom in here. Get grand wizard chat. This is the type of niggas that we dealing with, yo. We dealing with a nigga like academics who keep letting, who dealing with the same, number one, Act got his own sexual assault issues going on. And I'm, nigga, you sit at a computer butt ass naked, my nigga. And then not only that, what makes it worse, your best friend is touching minors. And you sitting there talking about Diddy and everybody else? Nah, son. What's up with you, my nigga? A few steps and he attempts to touch her again, but this time she turned around and stared at him. Ocala police were unable to identify or contact this victim. 13 minutes since the first cheek was batted, Boom can be seen on video walking to the cosmetic department. A young Hispanic female was standing, looking at something on display, when Boom walks up behind her and brushes up very close from behind. He'd walk back to her several times without her noticing when she bent down to look at something. Boom would pull out his cell phone and appear to be taking pictures from underneath the female as she crouched down. He'd do this for several moments until an older Hispanic woman moved a cot behind the younger female, preventing him from taking any more pictures. According to the arrest report, it states it should be noted the female was wearing jeans and therefore doesn't meet the requirements of video voyeurism. For those unfamiliar with the term, it's under Florida Statute 810.145. 
A person commits video voyeurism when for their own amusement, entertainment, sexual arousal, gratification, profit, or for the purpose of degrading another person. And Little Boom and the chat is disgusting. Troy Av, get the fuck away from them niggas, my nigga. Get that nigga his money back, bro. You don't need the fucking money anyway. See, we knew them niggas was weirdos over there, my nigga. And listen, there's no way we cannot say that them niggas ain't weirdos. What the fuck type of behavior is this? If this not weird behavior, then what the fuck is? But guess what, Mr. DJ Academics? Mr. Um, we got a young lady right here who has a lot to say. And it's not about being canceled. It's about the rights of black women and fucking children, you, fuck, you fucking creep. Fucking tired of these pervert motherfuckers. You motherfuckers is fucking nuts, yo. This is totally unacceptable. And this nigga sit on the computer and talk about everybody else's business, but you never spoke about Little Boom. Little Boom is booming little girls in Walmart. The nigga is going um, owl to owl, touching butts and recording that shit. And this nigga's with you, my nigga? You niggas is like the peeping Tom niggas. You know what you niggas are? These niggas is the niggas that go around um, the, the, the um, fuck, what you call them niggas? The, bo the booty hunters. Them niggas run around with hidden cams like perverts and do, f them niggas is, yo, disgusted. That's not what happened, academics. You know that- Speak, sister, speak your piece, sister. She need to, she need to speak her piece. Yo, he tried to get ahead of the story first. And then the truth always gonna be the same. Continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought. Like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. <laughs> and a test, a You guys heard that. Let me rewind that again. One thing about perverts, they all hang together. And all that shit about, oh, Ag ain't no perv. How you know? You and you with him every day, 24 hours? What it seems to me is he's a fucking pervert. Yo, look, the nigga man is touching fucking little girls and academic won't even condemn this nigga. He won't even say nothing. He went on fucking Adam. Don't worry, watch this. We gonna let this young lady get what her message out because I'm starting to realize, man, um, guys with big voices like academics, they 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 can overshadow the the women who actually been abused voices with his big loud ass voice for no reason, right? But you can tell something, you know, the boy like a little feminine body boy. You can tell, my nigga. The nigga say he the prize. Any nigga to move like that, mind them. Like that, mind that's all. Yeah, look, the niggas, the niggas a millionaire and the niggas still sit in the basement all day and at a laptop. What you think, what you think he doing? And yo, the nigga a grown man that still plays Fortnite. And let me tell you, you parents something out there. He's one of them, you gotta watch out for them niggas. Them niggas be having different, um, they be having different Discord channels chatting with your children, trying to fucking um, solicit your fucking kids secretly through video games and shit. You gotta watch these motherfuckers, yo. If I ever catch academics or one of his friends trying to um, play with one of my motherfucking, my kid or my motherfucking baby mother's kids, my sister kids, my anybody fucking kids, ooh, that's they fucking ass, my nigga. It won't be no goddamn academics, fucking perverts. And if you hang with a pervert, you a pervert too. There's no exception, nigga. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. And, a t and this nigga act when to talk about Diddy and freak offs. According to this young lady, you been in the freak off too, buddy. Oh, yeah. this nigga said, yo, I was at Antonio Brown house and I got a message and I 
fell asleep magically and it just so happened that your friends was fucking her, right? And you didn't, you wasn't there for none of that. You came the next morning, get the fuck out of here, my nigga. It take a nigga to sit down at his laptop, butt ass nigga on the computer. See, everybody was making fun of Wack Mahoney for being booty ball naked in the hotel room on the bed where he should be butt ass. But this nigga act is butt naked in the gamer's chair, kids. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck if his girlfriend was back there with him. She can be a freak just like him. You didn't see what the fuck happened to Cassie, right? Why you think the girl won't leave act? I wonder what they got on each other, my nigga. The fuck out of here. That's a You know what? I'm gonna come back with my own story. Right, and she do need to come back with her own story because since he got a big enough platform, he can always overshadow her with the perverts that's in the motherfucking chat. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. Yo, we ain't yo, we ain't tolerating no 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 um no no child molesters, yo. Straight up, any nigga over there fucking with act and little boom. Look, if little boom over there and you in that same Discord group with that nigga, then that mean that's the Discord group of pedophiles. Period, my nigga. It ain't no, yo, you you shouldn't even have them type of claims against you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. And everybody was saying this nigga's weird, my nigga. Intentionally. You could tell that the nigga weird. Yo, these are not good allegations to have on, on, you, on you at all. And this act, man, look at this nigga. Nigga look like the black Pee Wee Herman out this motherfucker. And then you got the girl that keeps saying, I'm not charged. I'm not being charged. I wasn't being charged. There's millions of, of, of men who got away from assaulting women and haven't been charged. Tell us something we don't know, brother. Tell us something we don't know. You got in front of the narrative to try to make her seem like a hoe. Like, yo, if anything, you just fell asleep. My nigga, I don't know what. What nigga is gonna fall asleep and he know he got pussy on the way? Let me guess, you're just so drunk that you trusted your two homeboys to be asleep. I mean, that you fall asleep while you got some some poom poom a coming. And you paid for the bitch Uber, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here, but you was just sleep. The bitch said, no, yeah, you was sleeper, right? On top of her. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. Yo, look, act. you cool, but you ain't cool, nigga. You hanging with this nigga. Any nigga that hang with a pedophile and don't speak up is just as bad. Installs a camera to secretly view or record a person without their consent who is dressing, undressing, or pri- Yo, I just said that shit. I swear to God on my moms, I never seen this video. I know a pervert peeping Tom motherfucker when I see one. It's just something weird about these niggas. You could just look, look right? Um, gamers and streamers, right? Um, shout out to the real ones, right? And the ones when I mean the real ones, I mean the ones that's not perverts and pedophiles. My nigga, you sitting. Yo, look, number one, there's no reason for a grown man to be playing Fortnite. That tells me something ain't right. I don't give a fuck how educated you are, how many millions you a person say they got. Nigga, they didn't stop putting money when you got your check, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. And guess what? It start to seem like we know how you got your check. Cause some of these niggas, oh, I made, I came from the grind. Yeah, nigga, but there is a ceiling and pedophiles and perverts always seem to make it past these ceilings. Privately exposed. In simpler terms, it's when a weird motherfucker tries recording naked people. Had the woman in the grocery store been wearing a skirt, Lil Boom would have been hit with another charge. What's even weirder is after the older woman intervened, Lil Boom still stayed by the woman with his phone out for several minutes before leaving the store. Clear photos would be taken from the surveillance video showing Boom was wearing pajama pants at the time. And two Yo, days after, this after nigga being posted Look at this nigga. Calib Look, never trust these weird these niggas, my nigga. Look how they dress, my G. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. These niggas is pervert niggas, niggas that don't get no pussy. This is how you know Act is a weirdo and all them niggas that little boom. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Academics, Grand Wizard, all you niggas, my nigga. You hang with a pedophile, 
What that mean, y'all? You a pedophile. Period, my nigga. You can sit there and say a dude was fucking Adam wife and all that shit. He, we don't give a fuck. Even if my G is looking real bad for you right now, my nigga. Yo, if anybody just go to DJ Academics um previous streams, the nigga say this nigga name every fucking minute. He damn near moderate every stream. The biggest perv. The fuck out of here. So your homeboy is touching booties. Running through, you know about every story of everybody business from hip hop to Hollywood to even motherfuckers we don't know about. But you couldn't, you didn't do one post about your pervert homeboy that you talk to on the fucking chat in front of millions of people every day. You got this nigga on rumble with you, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here, yo. The police department's Facebook. A female would contact officers stating she recognized Boom from a potty two years prior and identified him as Lil Boom. But when searching for his social media, it would turn out he deactivated his accounts. Officers were able to find matching photos of Boom on Facebook, but that wouldn't be all. Officers would make contact with Darian Hester, who advised Lil Boom was an associate of his but refused to provide additional information over the phone. Instead, Darian agreed to meet officers at his residence. Officers would have- Fuck this nigga Darian. This nigga Darian, see yo, one thing about the black community, these niggas won't even snitch on a pervert, my nigga. Nah, I ain't gonna tell him the phone because I don't want it to be recorded that I told. Well, guess what nigga, boom, no you told. And look at this nigga boom in the video. This nigga got on the tight ass Gucci sweats up his ass. Who the fuck wear Gucci jogging sweats up their ass as a man? Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. And act talk about Saucy and other niggas with BBLs. That's how you know them niggas wear because the way act talk to black women and then he'll be like, oh, I do the same thing with men. No, you don't, my nigga. The only people you excite is the pedophiles in the fucking chat, my nigga. What you gonna say, chat niggas, go get him? My nigga, you just look. Your main homie, Little Boom, is booming little boys and girls, my nigga. We don't know if they, if they was little boys. What, look, it could. they said it was minors, right? We don't know if the, it could have been a little girl dressed as a boy, right? How would we know? You motherfuckers is disgusted and totally sick. And it makes mad sense why you hate women so much, my nigga. It makes a lot of sense. Arrive, making contact with Darian, who was uncooperative and refused look, 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 look. information, Stop. who even the fuck he do a video meet officers at his address? But yo, who the fuck do a video peeping Tom behind somebody, my nigga? Oh, we know who the chat niggas, academics man. Get the fuck out of here, yo. I never seen this nigga. I knew who Little Boom was because he's always been on streams with Act. I was about to say I never seen his face. But I but you don't see his face because when Act do his streams, you just really hear this nigga voice. Act actually let now we all know how academics, he loved his stream, right? He built it from the ground up. 10 years strong. I built this shit, man. And he actually shared his platform with this pervert. Now, Act. You don't share no platform that you built, my nigga, but you don't mind sharing it with Little Boom, the little perv. This shit is total. Look at this nigga, my nigga. Let, yo, any real nigga with kids, even if you got nieces, nephews, my nigga, there's no way you can support this type of shit. And, um, and one more thing. All that innocent to proven guilty shit, this ain't no... A, a crime like he's he he sold drugs or he robbed somebody or he beat somebody up. No, nigga, this is booty touching in public, man. This, yeah, I don't even. The nigga was the this nigga's like the black Pee Wee Herman. If y'all ever know, if y'all don't know, Pee Wee Herman a long time ago got caught masturbating in the movie theater. Look that up. So just just I know this this they type. Come to find out, this was also the home of Lil Boom. Boom's mother, who is the registered owner of the red Chevy seen on surveillance video at the Walmart, advised she is Boom's mother and acknowledged she took it to Walmart. She also confirmed his nickname is Lil Boom. Officers would call Boom, who identified himself as Shannon. 
When asked, Shannon advised he was just shopping around and didn't touch anyone. Because Shannon was identified on surveillance video and admitted to being there the day of the incident, officers found probable cause to charge him with two counts of battery. 23-year-old Shannon Adams, or Lil Boom, would be taken into custody just four days after the incident took place. Now, Boom would make bond and retain Miss Alexa Rimmer to represent him. It just so happens Miss Rimmer went viral on TikTok, where she describes herself as a public defender lady who lives in Orlando. She'd make a video for all of her girls, gays, and days, spreading awareness on store facial recognition. What's up, y'all? This message is for all my girls, gays, and theys that like to use the five-finger discount. Um, I am not endorsing or condoning any criminal behavior, but I am just here to tell you that some of these stores have facial recognition technology. Her video has over 1.8 million views and just so happens to be the same way Lil Boom was identified to police. Looking back at his arrest report, officers... But why his friend academic didn't identify him? He speaks with the nigga on live stream and makes tons of millions of dollars with the voice of this pervert. This is crazy. I'm so disappointed and disgusted and hurt. Utilize the faces program to identify. Throw it off. Get away from them weirdos immediately. And you said motherfucking um, fucking Adam 22 was, was weird because the porno nigga fucked his wife. Nigga, Adam 22 is a porno. And guess what? He's white. What white people do, ain't we, they don't go by the same rules we go by. Straight up, my nigga. So if he wanted to be hanging with him, that's what them niggas do, man. That's on them. But you hanging with him, my nigga. And then your girl is sending pictures to other niggas of you sitting butt naked at a fucking laptop. Probably streaming, live streaming to fucking children, you fucking freak. Photos of Lil Boom to the surveillance photos taken at the Walmart. With his lawyer ready, Boom would get himself a sweet deal and plead no contest in court, meaning he doesn't admit he did anything, but doesn't dispute the facts of the case. DJ Academics, nigga, you got to do a video. You react to every video. Yo, this nigga act sit there for hours and hours and hours and react to every motherfucker fucking trending topic that happens on a daily basics basis yet this nigga overlooked the nigga that got a microphone in his fucking chat every fucking day you talking about quick diddy was doing it cassie nigga they grown this nigga's touching kids my nigga your dog your right hand brethren man and then you got old girl saying niggas was humping around on top of her Yet, you didn't even expose the niggas that did it, my nigga. Hey, hey, I, ladies and gentlemen, academics always say this. I'm not a street guy, and I do cooperate. Well, say the names of the niggas who allegedly, no, not allegedly, nigga. The niggas you said you got on tape that was fucking shorty at the pool, my nigga, the girl we, that I just showed. Say them niggas' names, my nigga. Why are you protecting guys who are actively charged with sexually assaulting these bitches and one thing how we know this should be real and true because um you mean to tell me future ain't getting no pussy you mean to tell me meek mill ain't getting no pussy little baby none all these famous rap niggas ain't getting no they don't get them type of charges nigga only the perv niggas like you and your friends get them allegate number one you sit there and say i embarrass myself because oh i'll show pictures what you gonna say i got a little dick Nigga, who the fuck says that, my nigga? Obviously, you you must do for even saying that. You fat. Yeah, this is so sad and disgusting because for years and years, niggas gave you, nigga, you was the war on Chirac now. Now we start to realize that you just hoard perverts. He'd be convicted on two counts of misdemeanor battery, which is defined as touching or striking someone against their will. As part of his plea, he'd be given 12 months of probation, fines, and 40 hours of community service. But he'd also have to sign off agreeing he will have no unsupervised contact with minors under- I want, to, I want you to see that, buddy. So, for you guys that don't know how the legal system works, usually if you take a plea, they're gonna reduce the, 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 the charge, no matter what it is. 
if you plead guilty, they're going to reduce the charge down to some bullshit. And it almost hides that you're a pervert because that's what, that's what's, what's, what turns me off and so disgusting about this shit is that fact right there is the legal system, they're not even putting that this nigga's a sex offender. They're putting that he swiped somebody and nigga swipe. Get the fuck out of here, yo. You see this shit, ladies? This is why you need to have a gun and when you, these type of niggas come around, protect yourself and use it because the justice system don't do shit but let these niggas back on the street. Look, they kick academics door in. They kick this nigga door in for because a woman got sexually assaulted, my nigga. Let that shit sink in. And of course he went to it first. Yeah, nigga, you went to it first after the, your girl started telling everybody, my nigga. Don't act like you just went to it because you was trying to be honest with the chat. Yo, look, y'all, the nigga act, that shit been happening or whatever, right? Yet he's doing stories on Diddy, everybody else, Blueface, you name him, you name the story, he did it. That nigga overlooked the biggest story in his life of the fact that this girl said she got sexually assaulted in your house. And then the fucking whole Jersey SWAT team kicked your fucking door in, my nigga. You ain't post that though. Why the other block was like, what the fuck? Why nobody post that? Oh, I know what. What we should do, act, is we're gonna do what real journalists do. We're gonna do the research ourselves and actually look into what happened ourselves. Because we can't depend on your peers because for some strange reason. Then why the fuck is 1090 not bringing up your name? I know why, because he know who Little Boom is. Motherfucker. We know the nigga know. The nigga 1090 be in the Discord with them niggas. This shit is crazy, my nigga. They had this pervert nigga in there. Then your motherfucking girl um, got pictures of you sending Adam and them pictures of you sitting at a motherfucking laptop with, no, with a t-shirt with no drawers. Dear men, why are you at a laptop in the t-shirt with no drawers. Now, guess what? I can understand if you was just getting some pussy, right? But why are you gonna go to the laptop? So that means your, your chair smell like ass, number one. That's, so who does that? Oh, I know who does, but you thought she was asleep? That nigga was up there looking at per, um, perverted shit, probably. Ma masturbating with who, we know who. Minors, allegedly. But is it allegedly when your fucking best friend have to sign by placing my initials beside the following paragraphs, I state and I understand that the content of each item, either by having read each item or by having each item read or explained to me, and that each item is so initial, true, correct, as applies to me. I am 24 years of age and I have completed 12 years. What the fuck? I can read, blah, 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 blah. This nigga got to, he got to write something that says he can't be around kids. They're 18, have no contact with the two victims in this case, and he'd be required to undergo a psychosexual evaluation. In February of 2023, an affidavit for violation of probation would be filed, stating Boom failed to pay multiple fines, still owed 26 hours of community service, and failed to provide proof he completed his psychosexual evaluation. Boom would take to YouTube in a live that's since been deleted, where roughly 70 viewers listened as he denied any wrongdoing. He'd state he doesn't even care and that his family and friends don't even care. But once again, going back to the affidavit, we can see one of his family members, Darian, who turns out to be Boom's brother, gave the police his address to speak with them. Darian and Boom can be seen in family photos together, and Darian even portrays to be a rolling 60s crip. On oh, neighborhood, Darian. Okay, my bad. I just bashed Darian about five minutes ago. Darian ain't want to do that over the phone. He probably didn't want to see if he could get some money. This nigga Darian told on his own brother as the fuck he should. Even he told on this nigga act. On Facebook. So if he didn't feel some type of way about Boom's accusations, why would he contact the police and essentially lead them to Boom's doorstep? Yo, am I bugging or academics is obsessed with Saucy Santana? I just, I just want to know. Yeah, I think he is. I decided to reach out to Darian, a.k.a. Just Dolo. I'd ask if he knew his brother was going viral over the Walmart case, where it said he grabbed two minor asses, a third female, and was taking pics of a fourth female bent over in the store. I told him I got the paperwork, and it said he gave the police their home address, 
Well, Boom is claiming nobody in his family cared because he didn't do anything. And I saw his brother was claiming Rolling 60's crib. I wanted to ask his opinion on the situation before I dropped the video. Justo would say, I didn't anything and he didn't do it. It's come with the fame, bro. You should know this, white boy. Now, I absolutely love this response because- I'll speak for you, white boy. I got this. Let me do this, whitey. This is black nigga shit right here. Let niggas talk right now. That's a nice way of telling you, keep your white ass out in black folk business. But this ain't black folk business. This is human business. And these niggas is perverts. Because now I'm just going to pick just a pie. I'd send him the paperwork clearly stating he agreed to meet at his home. And I asked him, that's you, ain't it? I'd also send him page two of his brother's plea agreement saying, and that's him signing off saying he can't have unsupervised contact with minors, right? Get him, Whitey. Get his ass, Whitey. That's the big white blur right there. What is he? Um, 1090, 1090, flip the clip, nigga. GKB. Yeah, nigga. Fuck out of here. You know, we know what, what it is. You is. Justo would respond with, come find out what kind of crip I am. And before we continue with anything else. Look, 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 look. Disgrace the black men. This nigga even, I just, everything I said about this nigga, I take back. I just bigged him up for snitching on his brother. Now he want to go to violence with the good white man for doing what he should be doing, exposing his pervert brother. But guess what? Hurt people hurt people. So maybe you, boom, learned it from who? His big bro. Let, let, let's start there. Just looking at your Instagram, I can tell you the type of crypt that wear more red than blue. Like you really don't even wear blue. The only gang repping you're doing is really with emojis. And the only picture of you with anyone else repping a flag is this goofy shit from 2015. This the type of crypt you is. Now Justo would say, do your homework. That shit false, cuz. And I clarified I did my homework. He signed off on it and got probation, no contact with kids, psychosexual evaluation. He'd say I'm wolf. This is crazy. Get him, 1090. And did I know he has a twin? Yo, oh my God, he said a twin. Alleging it may have been one of Boom's brothers instead of Boom. So I'd say, did you know? He said it was him on live last night, but he bumped into the girls. He didn't touch them. Justo would say to clarify, and I'd send him the clip from Boom's Live. He was like, if you go to trial, they're going to, because you did, you did, you did bump into them. Yes, you did. Did you touch somebody on their ass cheeks and grip they, grip they booty cheeks? Like, they make it seem like. Yo, see, these are the type of niggas that's totally disgusting because they make jokes out of something that they know they did to try to, it's the same shit academics do. Make sense? Right? You make a joke out of a horrific, something that's totally horrendous to try to make it as though to make light of it to make it seem as though it never happened like they make it like such and such nigga nigga even if it was grown a grown ass woman and you and, and like nigga you ain't supposed to be doing that period and and guess what um this is how you know he's 100 percent guilty because this is not a this is not a joking matter brother even if you didn't do it there shouldn't be no joking about nothing like that don't you got a mother? Don't you got a sister? I was in Walmart gripping booty cheeks and sniffing in ass cheeks and shit. No, nigga. Niggas was in my... You got charged by the police and identified for touching minors, my brother. And you over here being animated and making jokes as though it's a joking matter. And even if you didn't do it, you should have some type of compassion for the, just the subject at, at, at hand, period, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking freak. Somebody be, I, I ain't got no comment. I ain't got nothing to say. That's all I'm gonna say. But they all look like weirdo niggas, my nigga. Now, boom, all them niggas look weird, my nigga. Troy Ave, get the fuck away from them niggas, my nigga. Claimed the allegations against him weren't true and that he only bumped into the girls while walking by because they were in his way. He'd somewhat address the third female he allegedly touched on camera and never mentioned the fourth who he allegedly stood around taking pictures of. And he'd This nigga went in there to make pervert videos to share with his niggas on stream. 
You know that, right, y'all? He one of the niggas that posts the um the butt the bitches that's walking around Walmart. Um, the peeping tom niggas. I I forgot what you call them motherfuckers, yo. The butt boy and motherfuckers. Some shit like that. The pervert niggas, man. Say how were police able to identify him and not them? Well, personally, I don't think a victim would want their pictures shared over social media, asking Crime Stoppers to identify whose ass was allegedly touched in aisle three. So I'd assume that's why it was easier for them to identify Boom and not the two victims. But Boom isn't done. According to another live, Boom plans on suing me, Adam 22, and- That nigga ain't even want to fight them charges. That nigga ain't suing nobody, ladies and gentlemen. At all. That nigga ain't suing the damn thing. Little boom. Because so, you and your little weirdo niggas over there who all. Speaking of weirdo niggas. Speaking of motherfucking weirdo niggas. See, let me tell you guys something about human behavior. Right? And, um, this is just the truth, yo. Like, I, f I used to like academics. And you know what he'll say? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> nigga, you right. I know I don't, my nigga. But um, you hanging with fruitcakes. And right now, so look, academics is mad because um, Adam 22 snitched out his man. I'm breaking this shit down. That he ain't, obviously. So Adam 22 snitched blew up the fact that Little Boom is a child molester, pervert, Pee Wee Herman type of nigga, right? And that's academic best friend. So being that, that that's being that that's act best friend, act is start, he start blowing up secrets. Oh, Adam, listen. Oh, Just by the today. way, I don't know what type of pussy niggas you done hired. They all cop to plea after they post some shit. I ain't even, nigga, I'm in Utah. I'm on the mountain, barely have, uh, I'm getting taste from your employees. Hey, act, I hope you're not mad. Nigga, what are you talking about? I don't even know. Bro, y'all ain't even stand on business, man. We beefing or not, nigga. We warring or not. Nigga, I came for the war. Get boom out of your boom. Go sit over there for two months. Go figure out. I'll get to you soon. But let me squabble. I like a squabble. <laughs> this nigga just took up for his pervert friend. I hope you guys see that. Academic just made sure he told um Adam 22. Yo, Adam. I want to squabble. I don't give a fuck that you found out my nigga's a pervert and that he signed and he pled guilty to touching minors and also video recording women. I don't give a fuck about that. That's my nigga. This are his, my, are the academics' own words. I guess, um, why you not bashing him like you bash little baby and everybody else? Because you be bashing mad other people. If this shit was Soldier Boy or somebody, oh man. Act would have a field day with that shit, y'all. He would have a total field day. But don't worry, Act. Boom, get over there for two months. Me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. <laughs> and a test, a rape. Save yourself after your friends assaulted me thought like we didn't know each other for two years your baby girl got a nice sexy this man act continue to lie about me she got a, a nice sexy accent too look at them beautiful luscious black beautiful lips and i say that we love academics we're not trying to take advantage of this queen that's not what happened academics you know that that's not what happened and for you to pretend that you didn't do anything for you to pretend that you didn't do anything that i just went to your house and i'm just some thought like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. It was your turn, nigga. You know what the rules are. Yo, listen, ladies and gentlemen. Me, when I was a younger guy, um, well, fuck it. I lost my virginity in having the train on or running the train on the female. I was like, um, like maybe I was young and um, she was mad advanced. So in other words, I say, when I mean young, I, I was young or whatever, like 
very young. Um, but I say that to say this. That's normal in boy culture. It's normal for the girl to be sucking dick in the locker room or to be behind the bleachers kissing every guy on the football team. I just said kissing because, you know, I'm just saying. So that's normal. So why wouldn't I believe this queen right here? I believe every damn word she's, word she's saying. Why would she just make up something about the sky blue? We seen act video, but we're not giving you no credit or that video no credit. Why? Because your best friend's a perv. And a test, a <laughs> Your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I I'm, I'm sorry for the rewind, but black women need to be heard. I don't give a fuck. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. <laughs> and a test, a rape. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna come back with my own story. This what you wanted, and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. The reason why they did, nigga, we don't want to hear none of that shit, nigga. You just told, um, let's get back to this shit. I'm I'm like I I'm like totally hurt, yo. Like no lie her. I look crazy right now, but I'm not gonna stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. Right. That's not what happened. No worry, guys. We getting back to the way he he so since he mad because Adam and um the so in other words, let me break it down for my black niggas. The two white boys um 1090 jake and adam 22 teamed up on little boom but i'm not mad at that that nigga got nigga he's a fucking pervert the fuck good job my white friends good goddamn job buddies now listen to the listen to this okay here what this nigga adam fin gonna say to me lol you really think i was hating on you the next line tell me the nigga is hating on me. Gang, hear what he says. I told Shay all this early on the phone. Yo, pussy, nigga, you, me and you traded secrets to get you out of lawsuits, nigga. Who the fuck trades secrets? That's not like some girl shit, right? Listen, girl, I traded secrets with you and you got the nerve to sit there and expose my business who does that and then you on on this shit right here on stream exposing the white man adam 22 but you never exposed fucking boom my nigga and boom is listening right now listen y'all the pervert dude that got charged is listening on the stream for show Nigga, I told you, you told me niggas is suing you like they sued me, nigga, for shit that got to do with how we run our company. I told you how to get out of it, nigga. Nigga, I told you I paid hundreds of thousands and I gave you the cheap call. I paid it before you, nigga. I told you how to get out of it. You know why? That's when I said, bro, like, me and you can never beef no more. You help me with shit too, Snapchat, all that. Bro, some shit like this happened this week. You don't even hit me. You hit a bitch. You hit a woman. You, anytime you hit me, if you got some drama, you want me to react for your views, you hit me. This time around, you hit a woman? Bro, you got my number. You ain't use it till right now I'm on stream. Nigga, you a bitch for that, bro. I got to keep it a beam. Act is acting like he a bitch because of some shit with the girl, but it's really because of little boom, y'all. It ain't got nothing to do with the girl. And look how, look at this nigga eyes. This nigga look mad as fuck. I wonder if he got pants on under there. You a bitch for that, nigga. You a whole hoe for that, nigga. I don't No, you a whole hoe because you ain't named Wack 100 name one time, my nigga. Wack was dissing you right along, making big jokes with this nigga. Name Wack. Why you ain't saying Wack? the fuck out of here, my nigga. Oh, no, like, my nigga, I'm not sitting back on shit for y'all niggas. You not a... You not know, like, and by the way, you know why you shouldn't even tell a bitch? I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't tell a bitch. Because you know what she told me? She said, Adam been really upset ever since you talked about his wife. He said, that's why he, that's what she told me, by the way. That's why he's saying this all about 
he's saying all oh, this about people around you. And, I, and I'm looking, I'm like, Adam must not know me. Man, fuck what you just said about Boom, nigga. If you love your wife, you wouldn't even talk about me like that again. Because, nigga, I'm, I'm the worst nigga on earth, nigga. So why is you hitting her if me and you supposedly have a... Bro, we've communicated on stream, nigga. You a bitch for that, bro. Bro, I got to keep it a beam. You a bitch for that, nigga. Watch this. You a whole hoe for that, nigga. I don't hold no... Like, my nigga, I'm not sitting back on shit for y'all niggas. Yeah. You not, a, you not know, like... And by the way, you know why you shouldn't even tell a bitch? I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't tell a bitch. Why, you know why, why? Me? He said, Adam been really upset ever since you talked about his wife. He said, that's why he, that's what she told me, by the way. So, you mad at Adam for for telling the bitch or reaching out to a bitch, but yet you taking information from a bitch. See what I mean? But guess who do that? Bitches. That's why he's saying this all about... He's saying all this about people around you. And, I, and I'm looking at- Whoa, up. whoa, whoa. He's saying around people around you. Mention it like I did. He's saying that Little Boom is a child molester. Little Boom got charged with touching fucking kids in Walmart. This is what he's saying. The shit you won't fucking say, nigga. I wonder why. Why would you protect somebody like this and all you do is talk bad about other people, bro? But you ain't even exposing this nigga? I wonder why you ain't exposing Boom. Why? Usually if people won't expose their man or some shit like that, because their man got dirt on them too. No, nigga, you got the footage of me in Walmart taking pictures of little girls and upskirting with the camera, with the hidden cam. That's why, nigga. That's why you won't say nothing about this motherfucker. Because you is... Y'all get the picture, right? You know he doing, my nigga. You watching this shit with the nigga, jerking off, my nigga. I'm like, Adam must not Allegedly. Know Man, fuck what you just said about Boom, nigga. Allegedly jerking off. And you see how he just, just like Boom did. Man, fuck what you just said about Boom. How can you just say fuck what a nigga said about somebody is accused and that signed a paper with touching children, man? How can you just brush over that fact as though that's not the fucking issue? Whatever you and Adam got is nothing in comparison to what that girl just said that you did to her. And especially with your homie, is being accused of, man. Yo, the nigga went, yo, look, instead of going Walmart to go shop, he went to Walmart to look for little girls. This is no lie, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here, yo. And you covering for this nigga act? If you love your wife, you wouldn't even talk about me like that again. Because, nigga, I'm, I'm the worst nigga on earth, nigga. So why is you hitting her if me and you supposedly have a... Bro, we... One thing about a liar and the devil, they're going to tell the truth in your face and you're not going to believe it. You are right, Act. You are 100% the what? I'm going to let you say it. You hit a woman. You, anytime you hit me. If you got some drama you want me to react for your views, you hit me. This time around, you hit a woman? Bro, you got my number. You ain't use it till right now I'm on stream, nigga. You a bitch for that, bro. I got to keep it a beam. You a bitch for that, nigga. You a whole hoe for that, nigga. I don't hold no, like, my nigga, I'm not sitting back on shit for y'all niggas. You not, a, you not no, like, and by the way, you know why you shouldn't even tell a bitch? I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't tell a bitch, because you know what she told me? She said, Adam been really upset ever since you talked about his wife. He said, that's why he, that's what she told me. Oh, hey, you got a picture of Ack. My nigga, I'll take a picture of myself and put it out there. You can't, nobody could do nothing to me like that. I don't care. You heard I, that? Adam must not know me. Man, fuck Watch what this. you just said about Boom, nigga. If you love your wife, you wouldn't even talk about me like that again. Fuck what you just said about Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, people that got children, and if you watch somebody like this, and for God's sake, fuck what you just said about that dude that's a pedophile. That's his homie, though. That he's supposed to... Nigga, he's a journalist. You cover every fucking shit that got nothing to do with you. Instead of the business that's right in front of you, and he say he's transparent with his chat and his audience. You ain't that you ain't that transparent, nigga. You ain't say shit about little boom touching little girls. Nothing, my nigga. Not one episode, not a clip, none of that shit, my nigga. You supposed to say, yo, look, man. Um, it's information out there, my nigga. I gotta sacrifice you. Cause if this shit ever get out first and niggas beat me to it, I'm fucked. And motherfuckers probably still gonna overlook it because 
You know what I mean? It's just you're just entertainment. But um deep down, nigga, that shit, God sees everything, man. And God not respect no damn kid, Pee Wee Herman perverts walking through Walmart recording women. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You watch the videos with the nigga, allegedly. Because nigga, I'm I'm the worst nigga on earth, nigga. So why is you hitting her? Exactly. You are the worst nigga on earth. If me and you supposedly have a bro, we've communicated on mad shit. But you want some bitch shit. That's a fact. So when you trying to oh act I'm, my nigga, I'm not them little niggas you hire at no jumper, nigga. I'm a boss too, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? The text you sending me right now when I'm on stream, because you know I'm about to go bonkers on you, nigga. You could have sent before. Oh, but you think niggas is pussy. Oh, we got act. Hey. My nigga, I was in I was in Utah cooling out. I, I'm really looking, I'm like, is Adam really serious? The whole time. Now, let me tell you, Adam, get off Reddit and shit like that. Nigga, you know me, nigga. Get off that shit. You gonna let them niggas gas you up like, oh, hey, you got a picture of Ack. My nigga, I'll take a picture of myself and put it out there. You can't, nobody could do nothing to me like that. I don't care. I don't care. I don't like pussy shit, man. The reason. But you like hanging with Pee Wee Herman pervert type niggas, huh? Nigga got all that energy for Adam, but not um for the nigga that actually touching, got accused for touching fucking kids. Nigga, how many R. Kelly videos this nigga ever made? Because we know he, no, no, nothing never ever happened to nobody that was famous that academic never covered. And I didn't say nothing about it. And I acted like I was okay. I capped. I acted like I was okay. And I go home and I feel, I feel upset. I'm angry. I'm like, damn, this nigga really played me. I like, I, I was in my feelings. I wanted to exact revenge and I wanted to go get my get back. And you know what? I had to stop myself and say, yo, act. That's not that person. You're being the bitch. And, and and let me tell you why I said I'm being a bitch. Because I sat in that nigga face, and when the explanation of why he did what he did, I told him I was okay with it. Even with this girl. All right, I don't care. He trying okay, to stupid on Adam now. No, your man. So all that shit about that, that shit that happened in my crib, nigga, because I'm 100% innocent. I got paperwork on it, nigga. Ain't no 10. Man, Creesha, she pussy anyway. Like, she pussy too. Oh, academic. Yo, this song whack. Yo, who calls a girl pussy, yo? Or just aside, I'm just dying to know. I like I never seen a, a a masculine man call a female pussy and then say he loved his mother. Oh, I know who would do that. A girl kind of guy. Does that make any kind of sense? Not even gay people say shit like that. That's crazy, sir. How can you be gayer than gay people? Even Saucy said it, my nigga. <laughs> yo, this is crazy. He just called Carisha the the black queen. He just paid fifty pussy. million dollars. You getting peed on? Like I'm gonna violate you too. But the moment today I realized, like nigga, you called her instead of calling the nigga that was trying to like I've tried to help you to get like get out of shit that could cost you hundreds of thousands. You've helped me in trying to snitch on everything. Then act. Just tell it all. Tell it the fuck all, yo. Tell it all, buddy. See, um, shout out to 1090 Jake. Shout out to Adam 22, them good white men over there. Them niggas sat there and they got in these YouTube streets and they cracked down on the real YouTube motherfuckers, the pervs. They cracked down on them son of a bitches. And um, just ladies and gentlemen, if you ever see this, this guy right here, please, please, please grab your children. Please grab your children. Non-stop, call me just Drake. Please. Look, Not the okay. white guy. I got a one, two, three on me, no Mayweather. Look, 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 I'm about to snatch this bitch, and I'm about to take this bitch in the weather. And I'm about to see some rain, I'm about to see some pouring snow. Non-stop, call me just Drake. Watch, 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 watch
I got a one, two, three. Twerk, twerk, no twerk, 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 twerk. Get it on. Act. Wave them hands, boy. Wave them hands. Yeah, nigga, we know a zesty, sassy situation when we see one nigga. Fuck out of here. Hey, you know what's so funny? Motherfuckers always try to sit there. And, um, yeah, I just can't believe that this nigga, look, look, um, Aiden, he always play gay. And, but look how, but who, look, look, if you just look, let me, let me, let me, let me make this bigger. If you look at this picture right here. Who would you not want to leave your children around to babysit? All jokes aside, I'm going to let that sit there. So this is a picture of Aiden, Little Boom, and Academics. If you had to leave your 10-year-old in the house for five minutes while you run to the car to get something, who are you leaving your kid with? The white man, Aiden Ross, the other man, Academics, and the little Pee Wee Herman, Perv, little boomy. Which one, folks? Me, personally? None of them motherfuckers. They all look like, like something ain't right. But the sad thing is, it'll be the good white man that you can trust over these other motherfuckers. Look at them. Like, you just can't make this shit up. You really, 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 really can't make none of this shit up, y'all. Just so totally disgusted. <sighs> Black women, I get and I understand when y'all say that nobody listens when you get when you guys have issues and you guys say you guys was like assaulted by powerful men or or these celebrity figures. I totally get it now happen academics you know that that's not what happened and for you to pretend that you didn't do anything for you to pretend that you didn't do anything that i just went to your house and i'm just some thought like we didn't know each other for two years you tried to save yourself after your, your friends assaulted me whether or not you got drunk or not i know that when you woke up you were on top of me too <laughs> and a test a rape <laughs> You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. This is what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. <laughs>